Hello and welcome people back to the, the next episode of Kadelka in which we're gonna reach the point of no return. And also this is the last free-faced man walking on the ceiling with a gun we're going to meet in this playthrough. That makes me sad. Yeah, me too. He's, he's kind of like a Pikachu of this game. He should be the series mascot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Although there is one other monster that makes an appearance in every single uh, even every single game, and that is Gregory, the cockroach. I figured you were gonna say the cockroach. And, yeah, but uh, this is suck now. Jesus, <laughs> it's amazing, and that wasn't even the full extent of its strength. You get no. the first strike on it. <laughs> uh huh. Like, it almost makes, uh, like... Uh, it almost makes magic obsolete. It's so powerful. I wouldn't say obsolete, but it does more damage than a spell. Which considering... <coughs> which considering how it's been so far, that's pretty ridiculous. Because the magic is absolutely uh, ridiculously powerful compared to all of the other, f uh, to all of the weapons we've had so far. But now we must dive into the deep depths of the dungeons. E. Now I'm fully healed. And so you know, let's this, go to this the. This could town. be a really nice room if you just touched up a little bit. It is as it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's place that nitroglycerin and... Look at the menu for some reason. Ah oh, yeah, I went, to, I went to save, just in case, because I, don't, uh, I didn't actually remember which... Uh, where is the exact point of no return. So I just wanted to make sure that I, uh, that I have at least one other save that was, you know... Uh, that, that you you cannot make two saves on one uh, on one standing up to the altar. Aww. That's uh, that's kind of stupid. <clears throat> but yeah, now I'm ready for ev uh, for everything and anything that's going to come. If I can only get on this uh, door. And so we gain access to the temple. And you there's know, gonna be probably I've another heard. FMV. It's amazing. Guess where we need to go? Disneyland. Nah, Disneyland sucks. <laughs> Damn. I've been there. <laughs> but as I was saying before, I prefer to think that uh, instead of it all being nitroglycerin, Edward literally just fucking shot the door open because he's that strong. Uh, well, no, he actually established that even if he put a bullet through it, it wouldn't uh, work. I, I still prefer to think he did. Yes, because strength totally affects how strong you shoot with a gun. It would if you shot the fucking sword at it, I bet. No, I like to imagine that you push, physically push a gun forward. And because how strong you are, you push it so hard that it actually... Increases the power of a bullet. That's the only explanation I can think of for uh, for your strength increasing the uh, bullet power on guns in games like these. You know what? Sure, why not? 
Eventually the only... it becomes so strong that you can just flick bullets at people and it will kill them. The only game, uh, the only game series that I know of that uh, actually takes it to a logical extent is uh, Shin Megami Tensei, where guns are uh, a separate thing and uh, only your other stats, uh, like for example, your agility will increase your uh, accuracy with uh, with the gun, but it uh, but nothing will actually increase uh, the damage output. Except for using different bullets and different guns. And here is a puzzle that's uh, referring to... Uh, that's actually referring to something uh, that we've... S that we've gotten at the beginning, like... Either the beginning of disc 2 or ending of disc 1. Yeah, people, secrets, pain and light. I didn't look it up uh, to the to the document. I just uh, I just kind of guessed. Ready? It was in a letter uh, made by a guard, I think. And because all of churches work, all of all churches work like that. We can now access the catacombs because you know that th th that's how churches operate. You, you use organs. That's that's why they use those for. Why do you think the organ player is such an important job? They have all the secrets. Hmm. And what's also pretty funny. Uh, it's either, uh, it's either I'm, uh, I'm I didn't pay attention enough, but it seems that uh, the uh, like when you look at it closely after you do the puzzle, it doesn't show the buttons glowing. But if you look uh, look at it from the other camera angle, the uh, the buttons are actually glowing. Consistency. So how did these monsters get in here? Is my question. Well. I would imagine they just emerge from uh, what's in here, what's in the catacombs. You know, the root of all evil. They just, they just the emerge root from of the ether. Oh uh, well, not exactly from the ether, from malice. Uh. It may, it does make sense. I mean, mo uh, well, many of them are, uh, m many of them that are here are magical creatures and ghosts as opposed to zombies, although zombies still make sense considering what uh, considering what kind of uh, what powers malice you know mm -hmm. the dead hookers <laughs> dead hookers power malice, got it yeah, well, that's what Patrick used <laughs> true Please let me in. No, nope. <laughs> you have to be pixel perfect for these stairs, bro. They're very thin. Patrick. Poor Patrick. Hey, what are you doing? What's that? No, don't! I'm not asking for your help. This is my problem. None of you need to die with me here. Now, this is important. Um, once you advance past this point, this is point of no return. Now, not that it really, really matters. 
but if you want to beat the gargoyle, this is the last moment you can uh, you can do it at. Just uh, keep that in mind. Just make sure you flush after you throw the arm in. Are you sure? Let's proceed. Saint Daniel Scotius, protect us from these evil spirits and grant us inner strength. Amen. Created and born out of dust. Now go quietly and return to thy maker! 